Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing my monthly favorites. This is going to be for the month of May. I also have some of my reoccurring favorites in here that I've been using a lot this month and some new products that I've been trying out. So I have a bunch of products in front of me that I'm going to go ahead and share. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on into my favorites. So first favorite that I've been using a ton this month, like literally has been my hands down go-to lip gloss, is going to be the Cargo Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Tahos, I believe it is. I mentioned this in my previous video, which was a vlog, and I do use this like in a bunch of makeup looks. It actually came in one of my boxy charms, and I'm so happy that I gave it a try because seriously, I'm hooked. I got my mom hooked. We absolutely love it. So it's more of like that nudish kind of clear gloss and a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's very hard to see the shimmer flex when it's on the lips. It just gives a really nice gloss to the lips and it looks super full. I'm actually wearing it today over top of um, an Ofra lip color, but it did obviously take my lip color from matte to a gloss, which I like because I'm just obsessed with glossy lips right now. And I'm telling you guys, like, Smells amazing, looks good on the lips, feels good, like comfortable on the lips, and it's just stunning. So it's just a basic nudish gloss. So I will swatch it for you so you can see what I'm talking about. It's literally like the prettiest nude gloss ever. It's not so thick and it's also not really runny, which is nice. So it's just beautiful. So I will either wear this alone on my lips just to have a little bit of extra shine, or I will put it right over top of my lip color and it's gorgeous. So, been using this literally since I got it and I've been hooked. I can't stop wearing it. Everyone always asks what lip color I'm wearing right now on Instagram and I'm always wearing this over top of any color I'm wearing, which is kind of interesting, but I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So, this is Cargo Cosmetics in the shade Tahoe's, I believe. So, my next favorites for concealers right now are the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. This has been a recurring favorite. I've been using it forever, but I stopped using it once I started using my NARS. Radiant Creamy Concealer and then my Tarte one. So I do always go back and forth between them, but this has been a big favorite of mine and I still go back to using it. So that is in the basic concealer shade. Mine is in medium light neutral. I feel like I've definitely mentioned that like recently, but I just figured I'd throw it in again because another favorite that kind of goes hand in hand with it is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Corrector. And this one is in the shade Peach. So this one is gonna go ahead and help those under eyes where you have like darker situations and it just will help brighten so I've been using that a lot before the concealer and I feel like they work number one really good together I don't have to just use this brand together but I'll use this prior to my concealing and it just works really good I honestly don't really mess around with color correcting personally um, on other people I will do it if they need it but for me I do have redness to my skin but I honestly never really color correct which is kind of odd but using this in the darker areas right around my under eye works perfect same exact formulation as the concealer I think and works the same blendability is the same so pretty nice next favorite is a little bit pricier it is the Kevin Aquan concealer this is in the shade SX09. It's a little bit peachier tone for me, like a little bit too dark. So I like to use this generally when I self tan. So right now, like today, I would use it underneath my eyes if I wanted to, but it's still a little bit too dark. I don't want to be concealing with like a really dark concealer. So what I do with this is use it as my eyeshadow base. And I absolutely love it for that. I just take a brush, dip it in a little bit because it is so, so pigmented, like very pigmented. You literally just need a dot and you are like good so I just blend a little bit onto my eyelid and then wait for it to dry a little bit I will go ahead and set it sometimes with a powder so it doesn't get all slippy slatty and then we'll go ahead and do my crease color and my eye look and it's gorgeous and I find that the blendability is just really nice and it dries pretty quick my next favorite is the Stila highlighter and this is in the shade kitten this is the heavens you highlighter and yes mom broke but still making it work it's such a pretty pretty highlighter and it's like a putty highlighter so as soon as I touch it it literally makes like an indention. I think that that's like really cool and interesting. And that is the shade. I'm obsessed with this shade. Again, it's in the shade Kitten. And look at that. Like, yes, I'm obsessed. It is, so the fact that it's more of that putty highlight and a little bit wet-like, that kind of consistency, I tend to really like, and that's a big plus for me because I'm one to go ahead and spritz my brush with a mist or my face prior to my highlighter. So, the fact that it's already like done for you is a lot easier and I literally can use my finger to apply this. I wouldn't really say that much just because it is super pigmented. 
but it's gorgeous. Like, I'm obsessed with it. And they do have two other shades in the line, more of like a holographic one, and then one that's a little bit bronzier, like. So, super gorgeous. Honestly, just love, like, the intensity of it. Like, one little piece and you're, like, glowing to the gods. Next up is the Sephora Colorful Shadow and Liner, and this is in the nude shade. It's waterproof, and I have talked about this several times on here. I absolutely love this, and I just started going back to it. I did it in my inner waterline today. Love to line my inner waterline with a nude color, especially for summertime, but for me personally, I think that black sometimes can look a little harsh, so for the everyday, I definitely love to have more of that brightened eye look, so this does that for me, and it's very, very pigmented. You really only need a little bit in that waterline and it doesn't move. Definitely don't have a problem with it wearing throughout the day. It stays put in my waterline and until I take my makeup off, that's when it comes off, which I love because I can't stand when you put an eyeliner in the inner waterline or a nude stick in the waterline and it like disappears within 20 minutes. Like, no. This is one of these sharpening sticks and I have yet to sharpen it actually because it's more of like that jumbo stick. Ever since I've been using it, I haven't had to sharpen it because the point was like up to here and you don't need a lot, so yeah. But I've been using it a lot, and it's actually from the actual Sephora collection. Love it. So my next favorite is by Red Cherry Lashes, and it actually is their lash applicator. So it looks like this. It's really easy to hold when I apply my lashes. I'm used to using tweezers, so sometimes I go back and forth between my tweezers or this. The way that this lash applicator is designed, your fingers easily like have a spot to lay, and it fits really comfortably in the hand, and it's so much more comfortable to actually apply the lashes. I've had zero issues. They went on like in 0.5 seconds. So much easier than tweezers, but because I am used to using tweezers, sometimes I have some difficulties, but honestly this is amazing. So pretty much your finger just lays where that like little chunky part is, right underneath it, and then your thumb has somewhere to rest right over here. And when you're actually holding the lashes, this part is so much easier to grasp onto the lashes and to get onto the actual lash band. It's just so much easier. I can't stress it enough. That's what I've been using pretty much all month long and I my current favorite foundation is actually by LA Girl, and it's the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation. I think I mentioned this like 700 times. So this is in the shade Natural, and I also use Nude Beige as well. So I am wearing this today on my skin, and I absolutely love it. It is a medium to full coverage foundation. I will put a little bit back of my hand. It just blends in so nice. Like it, To me, it feels like more of a higher-end foundation, like more luxury. I love it. looks great in photos. blends out really effortlessly on the skin. I like to use it with a damp beauty blender, but you can use it with a brush. And I'm sure it'll look great, but for me, I like to use it with a damp beauty blender or the like oval brush. It doesn't feel heavy at all on the skin, but also it makes it look super flawless and like you have a lot of coverage on the skin, which I love so has been a hands down big favorite of mine I definitely have mentioned this before but I figured I'd throw it in again since I am wearing it today and has been my go-to foundation next up which is gonna be my last favorite for this month that I've been using it is the concealer palette and this is by measurable difference so this is the concealer palette I've literally hit pan on this cappuccino shade right here I like to carve out my brows with this concealer palette it's so like versatile especially if you're doing makeup on somebody else because obviously there's a bunch of different shades in here I love the fact that you get a big variety of shades in here it goes everywhere from very light to medium to very dark so you get a wide variety of colors in here and they're super super creamy easy to blend out I have used this under my eyes but personally I like to use it to carve out my brows a little bit better but it still does fine on the under eyes and you can go ahead and contour and highlight with this palette because of the darker shades. So I think you get a lot in here. It's definitely worth it. They're very, very creamy, but I don't think that it is a bad thing. Like it definitely is a good thing. I've been using this to carve up my brows this whole month and I'm obsessed with it. And what's good is that if you don't have a certain concealer shade that matches you precisely, like myself, because I'm always mixing shades. This is great because you can easily mix them and you have a wide variety. So, absolutely been loving this. Been using it all month long. So those are all the products that I've been using this month that I've been absolutely loving. Again, some were reoccurring, but some of them are new. So I figured I would share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, maybe found it a little helpful. If you guys have a similar favorite or the same thing, leave it down below in the comments. I would love to hear or just leave your favorite product that you've been using this month. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe found it a little helpful. If you did, go ahead and thumbs it up. Subscribe if you guys are not already. There's a button somewhere over there to go ahead and subscribe. And I think that is all for this video. So until my next one, I will catch you then. Bye.